And in terms of the college's work and towards people's perceptions of visual impairment, you know, when you go back to when you started your career in the 70s, do you think people's perceptions of visual impaired people have changed since then? I think they have. I mean, I think they've changed for the better. We, we, we go in fits and starts, so um, tremendous change in attitude towards disability temporarily, unfortunately, around the Paralympics. We've got to somehow return to that. And obviously, how those with blindness and partial sight are viewed and, and are approached is partly determined by how people in society change their attitudes to disability as a whole. So yeah. you can't separate the two. I think um, um, the important thing is firstly to get across to young people the confidence and mm. self-belief that makes it possible to get to, to go out and do what you really want to do and never to take no for an answer. And secondly, to change the attitude of wider society, including employers, just so that they actually think, yeah, I will give that person an interview. Mm. I will see what they're going to do. Yeah. I'll, I'll ask them what they can do rather than make a presumption that they can't do it. And that this is why this campaign is so important. Yes. Because the I can is saying, look, I, I know, at least until technology improves, I'm not going to be able to fly a plane, mm. although theoretically we probably could. Um, I, I'm not going to drive a bus, but I do know what I can do. And I want you to be supportive in helping me do it. I think that's the message we've got to get across. Yeah, yeah.